embedding, uploading media, files, and creating links in discussion forums, wikis, journals, and blogs. Discussion forums, blogs, journals, and wikis all use a similar content editing widget. When used at its most simple, this widget provides a means by which you can type or paste text into your browser window and then perform formatting options on that text similar to that of a basic word processor. The widget also, however, provides other more advanced features that you can use too. This video covers some of those features. Expand the Content Editing Widgets toolbar, if it isn't already expanded, by clicking the three dots button on the toolbar. When expanded, you will see additional tool icons appear. Creating a link to a web page outside of Yorkshire. To create a web link, first type in the text that you want to become the link that will be clipped on by someone reading your entry. Highlight the text you entered by clicking and dragging across it as you would when using a word processor. With the text highlighted, click the Insert Edit Link icon on the toolbar, the icon that looks like chain links. A dialog window will appear providing you with a field to type or paste the URL of the page you wish to link to. When you have entered the URL, which must include the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, configure any additional options you require, such as the Open Link In drop down. It's recommended you set this to New Window, and then click the Save button on the Insert Edit Link panel. You will see that the text you originally highlighted now looks like a typical web link. When you have submitted your post edit, anybody subsequently reading it can click the link to launch the web page that you provided the URL of. Inserting a file. To insert a file directly into your post or page edit, first click within the text where you want the link to appear. Now click the plus button on the toolbar. When the Add Content panel appears, click the Insert Local Files option and then, in the ensuing file dialog, find and open the file you wish to insert. The file will be inserted into your post or page. Click Submit to publish the results of your editing. When viewing the post or page, clicking the file's link will cause your browser to serve the file you have inserted. Embedding an image. Images capable of being displayed by a browser can be embedded directly in your post or page. Click within the widgets window to place the text entry cursor where you want the image to appear and then click the plus button on the toolbar. When the Add Content panel appears, click the Insert Local Files option, and then, in the ensuing file dialog, find and open the image you wish to embed, noting that it will typically need to be in the JPEG, PNG, or GIF format for a standard browser to be able to display it. The image will be inserted into your post or page. To scale the image, left-click on it to select it, and then drag one of the corner anchor points that have appeared. To wrap text around the image, make sure the image is selected, and then click either the left or right align icons on the toolbar. For accessibility reasons, you should complete an alternative description for the image. To do this, right-click on the image, and select Image from the pop-up menu that appears. This just needs to be a text description of the image that can be read out by a screen reader software for those unable to engage with the image visually. Click Save on the panel to insert the alternative text. Embedding YouTube videos. To embed a YouTube video into a post or page, first click within the widgets window to position the cursor where you want the video to appear and then click the plus button on the toolbar. When the Add Content panel appears, select YouTube Video. This will cause a YouTube search panel to appear. Enter your search criteria in the search field and click the Go button. When you've identified the video you wish to embed, click its Select button. 
The window will refresh, providing you with the display options for the video. Select Embed Video from the View drop-down. If you want the video to be played by a viewer directly from within the content that you post, similar to how it would be played at YouTube itself. Set any other configuration you think is appropriate and then click Submit on the panel. Once submitted, you will see the YouTube video embedded and will also be able to play it.